Hey guys, it's Allie with Allie Answers. I hope you're having a fantastic day. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, welcome. And if you've watched them before, welcome back. If you haven't yet subscribed, I hope that you will. It really helps the algorithm so that more people will see these videos and more people can be helped. The leaves are changing and it is fall. This is a time that we really love to get out of the house. And if you are an at-home caregiver taking care of somebody throughout the day, or even if you work during the day and you come home exhausted, I want to encourage you to make use of this beautiful weather and enjoy some time outdoors with your loved one as you're able. I realize that some people may not be able to get around very well, but that does not mean they can't participate in some fun activities. For example, maybe they can't handle a big fall festival in the mountains, but maybe in a church parking lot that's really flat, they're able to at least get out of a car, walk around, look at a few crafts, and enjoy some food. So I want you to think outside the box and figure out how you can get out of that house and enjoy some time in this beautiful fall weather with your loved ones. Let's get started. So obviously I mentioned fall festivals. They are everywhere. You can drive a short distance usually and get to one very easily. You might want to scope it out first. And if your loved one is in a wheelchair or on a walker and really needs some assistance, just make sure that you make use of the handicap parking and get as close to the activities as you can. Even if your loved one doesn't want to participate in a corn maze, obviously, they might want to eat a funnel cake and enjoy watching the children laugh and play in the corn or they might want to participate in some games and some fun. So definitely take advantage of this type of outdoor activity. If you have the ability to participate in trunk or treat, I highly recommend it. A lot of seniors really enjoy watching children dressed up go from car to car and get candy and it's a great way for them to participate without being exhausted. Maybe like me, you have apple farms nearby, and it's a lot of fun. Even if you don't wanna pick apples, you can choose some apples that have already been picked, put them in a bag, and maybe buy some apple butter or apple bread. Most importantly, it's a great way to be outside and take a look at what everybody else is up to. Maybe it's been years since you decorated a pumpkin, and if you don't feel like carving it out and getting all that nastiness all over your hands, you can just paint the pumpkin. If you feel like carving, there are a lot of free templates online. Just Google free templates for your pumpkin carving. There are a lot of farm events right now, tractor events where you can go and look around and touch tractors. And I know there are a lot of seniors that would really love the opportunity to do that. In addition, there are tons of fall festivals where you will be able to purchase items that someone else made. And it might even get you thinking about your own creativity. Maybe you would want to make one of the blankets or scarves that are basically put together already in a kit at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or at your local sewing store. It really just involves tying the ends of the fleece into knots. If they're creative and they can handle more, maybe it's time to get out those knitting needles. Even if all they do is knit and crochet in circles, it doesn't matter. It's just the fact that it is an opportunity to enjoy a handicraft while sitting maybe outside with the wind blowing and the sun shining. If it's raining, what a great opportunity to make homemade soup or homemade chili. Make sure that you let your loved one help you, even if it's just telling you what to do. This is a great time of year to bake bread, whether it's the kind that you have to knead or it's a quick bread like apple bread or banana bread or pumpkin bread. This is a great time to engage all those senses and enjoy some time together in the kitchen. Maybe there are favorite family recipes that only come out in the fall, an apple crisp perhaps. Local farmer's markets are a great place to get apples and pears so that you can make apple or pear crisp. But in addition, they have a lot of beautiful winter vegetables that are already coming online. So maybe it's a good time to make that butternut squash that you always think about as the weather cools down. This is a great time to shuck corn or snap beans from the farmer's market and cook some old recipes that you remember from growing up. And if your loved one is someone who didn't used to cook, maybe explore cookbooks together or go online and find a recipe that you can do together. Sitting outside and drinking some warm apple cider and enjoying the weather is a great thing that you can do. And while you're out there, why not video some advice from your loved one? Maybe they have some great advice about love, marriage, relationships, work. Who knows what you can get them to say? 
You might even make a new TikTok trend by streaming grandma's great advice. Worried about your loved one getting cold? Did you know that there are some new rechargeable hand warmers? I saw them just the other day at Home Depot. What a great idea. In addition to those little hand warmers that you can kind of squeeze together and they get hot, I think they're called hot hands. Now they have those little rechargeable ones. Make some chili and watch football. Maybe you haven't been on a hayride in forever. There are some great hayrides where it is easier to get on and off so you might want to explore that before you take your loved one but why not why not get out and enjoy a hayride even at night this is a great time to roast pumpkin seeds and make lists of reasons that we're thankful also a great thing to video. Maybe your loved one is not able to participate in something that's very active, but they can tell you what they're thankful for and you can write those things down and you'll have them for years to come. This is a great time of year to start making Christmas ornaments. There are a ton of Christmas ornament ideas on Pinterest. My favorite is the one using baking soda. You can use baking soda to create a dough. You roll the dough out and you use cookie cutters to cut it out. It doesn't have to be perfect and it's a great gift idea. And they're so beautiful that you don't have to paint them. But if you want to, you absolutely can. If someone you know is having an outdoor bonfire, maybe go join them and bring some s'mores. This is a great time to make and eat beautiful pumpkin treats like pumpkin cookies and pumpkin pies and pumpkin bread. Don't forget the kettle corn. What a great thing to be munching on while you're sitting outside watching little ghosts and goblins come up and get their candy from your house. You can even do a fall scavenger hunt where you make a list of things that you're gonna find and when you go on your walk, you pick them up. Maybe it's an acorn, some leaves, a pine cone. You can press leaves in an album and write what you're thankful for on the leaves. Even use a gold paint pen to write what you're thankful for on each leaf. Maybe your loved one can't chew a regular candy apple, but there are some great recipes. One of my favorite memories of fall is my mom baking apples. Now, I like to bake apples with sugar and cinnamon, but she used to use the little red hot candies. Whatever you do, it's a great way to enjoy the season. There are a lot of great events like Oktoberfest, and even if you only go for a short while, it might be something that creates memories that you'll have forever. On a beautiful fall day, you can even just drive to a restaurant that has a good view of all the beautiful fall colors and enjoy some homemade soup that someone else made. It's such a short period of time that we have those that we love. I hope that you get outside and enjoy this time of year and soak up every bit of joy and happiness that you can. I wish you all the very best and have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.